Welcome back. Chinese and Southeast Asia qualifier, closed qualifier. Whoever wins this qualifier is going. They're going to the land, they're going to Dubai. Our first match of the day, it is Azure versus Titan. And uh, as I mentioned, there's gonna be four more best of ones. So a definite bloodbath awaits us here. Only now starting to uh, crawl his way back. And on and dying, there's the blast off. He's in a lot of trouble and the name will actually kill him. He did have the fairy fire, we never saved his life. Life life will try to do some damage, but overall it's, it's not gonna be much. There is going to be some fighting on the bottom lane there. And the uh, healing lotus does come out. The black grenade does get used in the tusk. He has the fairy fire, but there's the rotation of the nature's prophet that we were expecting. And the tusk will die. The only question is who is going to take it in the end. It's going to be Mercy. Sorry. He's being targeted by Setsu. Doesn't have the uh, the jump at the moment. So in the end, we decide not to TP in. Well, the line is dropping low, but they turn around. It is gonna be an attempt onto his life. The blast off doesn't connect on him, and with the sticky bomb, it will now turn it around onto Undyne. They're actually doing so much damage, but both of them are surviving not for long. They have the knight that's gonna be protecting Luna. Mercy still comes in for the hit, and FY will be going down not before Mercy does. And it is a bloodbath. More supports dying on the bottom lane. The lion draining some mana, being annoying. It's what, what the lion does. So freakishly annoying. Meanwhile, top lane. FY is looking pretty dead. One more hit from the Morphling. That's a lot of right click damage. Tony. That, uh, okay, that's Caltrans flying out to him. There's gonna be a snowball. They wanna kill him. Does have the Astro. Turns around. Sanity's Eclipse still red. is ready. He's gonna be using it now. Some of the heals are coming through because of the mana allergy. They're trying to kill him. It's not enough. And here's the arena. Not, they don't even look at the support they want to use. They're gonna be finishing off Mercy, but at what cost? And the Tusk wants to run away, but here's the Nature's Prophet Undyne with the TP. He'll find him. And it even isn't gonna be those neutral kicks that finish him off. What a turnaround from Titan. Azure coming in as the favorites into the series. But in this fight, they were nowhere to be found. Trying to uh, send Bach away. There will be a skewer trying to finish him off, trying to do something to him. That's a lot of mobility. On the Morphling has six one charges. Coming in with the science, and Louis coming over. Doesn't have the ulti. Fly Fly still morphing, has nine one charges. Should be able to survive this one. Getting pulled back again by the shockwave. The sticky bomb they see and clearly. There's the TP from the Mars. Doesn't have the arena for four seconds. Doesn't have the mana for it. Bach. RP, he doesn't have it, he didn't save the skill points, he's just gonna get destroyed, Snowball to the side, just to buy himself a little bit more time, but he immediately went out of it, actually it was a bait, and now the Luna with the Mask of Man is starting with the damage, and the players are bouncing, Ori's in the vicinity, doesn't have the ulti, lucky for Titan, Ori's dropping low, Fly Fly cannot finish him off, he has 5-1 charges, but he's in a lot of trouble as well, the Sticky Bomb is there, pushes the Luna back, and here comes Zodi, that is a hard hero to fight, 3 points in the Arcane Orb, FY, in a lot of trouble, he will disarm him however with the reactive taser, so Setsu won't be able to attack, but this time around, Azure, they're the ones that are going to be winning the fight. Tusk might be on the menu. Uh, they will find him. Spear actually misses, so it's going to be taking longer than what they wanted. Going for the creep onto the side. If he lives, it's going to be a complete disaster. The Astral keeping him in place, and he has just been left for them. His team abandoned. He will be taken down by Setsu, the final alert. As Magnus almost has a blink, a smoke was used. Mars, he has already already has been found, and the finger, and that should be a very dead Zeus extra damage for the line. Even though he used it a little bit preemptively, didn't want the kill, he just wanted the Zeus to die. So it might not be as, as straightforward as he would like, but it is what it is. What is being Targeting. There's no use. The RP will get used and he'll never get out of that use form. Now with the Thunder God's Wrath, they know where Undyne is as well. No TP for you. Cancelled by the Lightning Bolt and a couple of more hits will finish him off. It is night time now and you've gotten two kills. Just. But Lightning Hands are, uh, are ready. Perfect. Of course. There's gonna be the techies called FY. The answer to all of those questions was no no it's it's not that much of a problem if i die that's why he went for it 11 is gonna be caught he cannot blink away the zeus already made sure of it there's the science with the blast off sorry and uh, zeus it has the ability off and dying he's gonna be next on the menu nothing to do about it sticky bomb will kill him as mercy is running away he doesn't have the blink just yet will do his best to live actually on the other side yodi is gonna be caught the clips has been used and will do absolutely nothing or he finishes off mercy as setsu runs himself away not too far they see him it is nighttime luna sees all 
the goddess Selimene. She's gonna guide their path to another kill, possibly to a victory as this game, and it's a big game of COD as well. That blink dagger, even once he gets it, it's not gonna be helping all that much, and really, both the Mars and the OD are hella on their farm, especially the OD. Maybe two minutes left on the Aegis, they're gonna go for the push, not even looking for the high ground, but mostly for the other towers. There's the Thunder God's Wrath, they know where Undyne is. The name doesn't quite resonate with me as he's gonna be dying once again. As Azure are going for a move, the Morphin does have a Manta and he doesn't get the dodge there on the RP, which means he's not gonna be living through this one. They saw him, they found him, they killed him. These Raxes are going to fall, especially with the creeps coming into the base. The smoke was used. Mars, who can he find? They need the backline. The Luna is not a good target. Black here and Morphin trying to do something. Science immediately on the Mars. They knew that you were going to jump in. BKB a little bit too late. There is going to be Walrus Punch 11. Everything gets dogged. The Zure are just dancing around Titan. And this is it when you are forced into a fight that you do not want to take. At least they killed the creeps. So the Raxes are not going to be falling. Not too many of those on Titan, and really when you're this far behind, you you don't have the luxury for it. OD, very nice. Turn around, the Hex was used, and now the line is in such a bad position. The communication, just not on point. Mercy, just like a good line, jumping between five dudes, starting to uh, suck out their mana. But, uh, he's not gonna be tanky enough to build Vastro Imprisonment, just slowing down Luna, who now has a full bike, so doesn't care about that Sprout any longer. So all of those are... Uh, are things that are gonna make your cores unkillable. At this point, that is the only thing you need to find. No spirit vessel charges. He might put his own ashes in the, the curse of the old growth, giving him some vision, and he will. For now, Stain plays there on the tri triangle as old eleven is running in. It is back time for Zuri. Are you going to be fighting? He will bring down the Tusk Mercy. Finishes him off with the with the finger. The moon glaives and they reduce the damage that you're taking, which is a big deal for a late game Luna. This hero used to fall off quite a lot. Now, not so much. And there's the jump in Magnus. Actually, he catches the Setsu. This is gonna be around RP only onto one, but at least he finishes off the line. They found the morphing on the other side. Setsu is surrounded by enemies. He's trying to fight the sanity slips will get used to no avail. And Undyne tries to escape. The steward will not allow it to happen, but he has found and done everything for his team and just destroyed Titan in this game. One or two. And it's the only game of this series. It is gonna be a survey taking the victory quite easily.